Hi, JC Melvin here. Thanks so much for coming to my show, realestatelive.tv. We've got an exciting show for you this week featuring Dan Waterman, who's the CEO and senior instructor for the National Foreclosure Sales Training Institute. This show is all about the REO business, and I know you're going to enjoy this brief and exciting interview. This week's show is sponsored by wakeupyourincome.com, where you can get some screaming deals on equipment for your cellular phones, uh, Direct TV, Dish Network, and also ADT Security for yourself and your customers and clients. There's also a business opportunity there. So when you're done watching the show, go ahead and click on wakeupyourincome.com and check out that opportunity. Now let's get to the interview studios and enjoy the show with Dan Waterman. Hi everybody, JC Melvin here with Real Estate Live. Thanks so much for joining us. I am super excited about our guest today because it's really timely. Our guest is CEO and Senior Instructor for NFSTI, that's the National Foreclosure Sales Training Institute, and he's in town in the Las Vegas area doing a program for Realtors right now. Dan Waterman, thanks so much for coming into the studios. Thank you, JC. It's what, there's so many questions that I have for you, I kind of don't know where to start. As you well know, most of our audience are real estate licensees, not only here in the Las Vegas area, but all over the country. So what's happening with the foreclosures? It seems like we saw a little bit of a slowdown here in the last, I don't know, two, three, four weeks. What's up? It's, it's very uh, hard to put your finger on the pulse for a lot of people. And you just kind of have to take it day by day, watch what's going on in the news. But it's happening nationwide. Everybody's seeing a slowdown. Everybody's seeing a little bit of a slump, and it's not something that's isolated. Is there anything that's going to help the consumer in this mess? That's what we're hoping for. I think that's what they're hoping for, too. Um, I don't want to say that it's a stalling effort, but I think that they are trying to control the bleeding a little bit. I think they're trying everything that they can. We've never seen anything like this before, so uh, it's going to take some trial and error, yes. Uh, so the question here, is it still too, is it too late to get in, or is it, there's still time for agents to get into the REO business? There's still time. I just get, got an email last week from an agent who they were in that position wondering should I get into it and this was in California had a similar situation here in Las Vegas area and they said once they really put forth a hundred percent effort and went after it I'm talking the branding the marketing getting your infrastructure ready the media then they started seeing the business coming through a little bit at a time okay let's talk let's break that down a little bit and I appreciate you kind of bringing it up and categorizing it like that let's talk okay. about what the agent needs to do let's start with Certifications. Now you're here, um, NFSTI is mm -hmm. here, and you're doing a two-day two program. Yes. And for those that aren't familiar with the National Foreclosure Sales Training Institute, it is. Um, it looks like it's one of the most, if not the highest, recognized REO certification that you can get in the country. Absolutely. It, it seems like all of the banks and most of the asset managers have. Uh, you have a relationship with, uh, I guess, many of them. Yeah. And so, is it important? for an REO agent that wants to come into this business to actually go ahead and get some sort of certification. It is. That's a great place to start. Uh, the more important aspect of this course, the certification's nice. That's not going to get you the business. It doesn't matter where you get the certification from unless occasionally a certification does guarantee some business. That's rare nowadays. What, what's more important is getting the, the knowledge, the understanding of how to run a successful business and how to go about acquiring the business, business acquisition. And that's just something that they don't teach in real estate school. And uh, let's just put the horse uh, or the elephant on the table as they say. Your course runs about, what is it, about 500? My, the two-day course is 497, but if a person chooses to not come to the course, they can still get certified by becoming an annual member with NFSTI. That's $57. Wow. You're actually giving tools to agents so that they can learn how and actually have connections directly with asset managers and banks. That's right. There's a, a lot of people uh, will, will tell you the same thing and that this industry is about relationships. And if you don't have the relationships or you don't try to build those relationships, it's really hard to get the business. And, and yes, we do have some inside intel. Uh, we've recently built up a relationship with REO Intelligence, REOintelligence.com and they've been absolutely fantastic and very supportive backing up NFSTI. Let's talk REOs because that's what your specialty is. It, for the, from the buyer agent perspective and the buyer's perspective, we're still having that problem of, uh, or the buyer's agent I guess is having that problem of not being able to communicate with the listing agent. 
Uh, in fact, many times you may be in a relationship for 30, 45 days, 60 days sometimes uh, in the escrow process and never once speak to the listing agent. And that can tend to be a frustrating point for the buyer's agents. Can you speak to that? Absolutely. Uh, first, I'd like to say, first and foremost, if you're working with buyers and your job is to help them and you're seeing your buyers being attracted to these REOs, come to our class. It's not just about getting the REO listings. Come to our class and learn what these REO listing agents are going through. See what the process is like and understand that sometimes it's out of their control and they're trying to communicate as best they can. Now, to address the other issue of what happens if you're in that moment, let me break it into two parts. The part one being if you're working with the buyer and you're seeing that there's a lag time, there's a lack of communication, there's no response, then my suggestion is, is give it the best you can and then move on. With the inventory as high as it is right now, there's no reason you should put your buyer in a situation where it's continuing to stress them out by not getting the replies that you need. Uh, from the listing agent's side of uh, this perspective, I would say get your systems organized to the point where you can pick up your phone. Don't leave messages on your phone that say, I'm not picking up my phone, please email me or I'll return your call within a week. Uh, yes, you're busy and that's fantastic, but that's poor quality customer service and you can't do that. Automate your systems. And again, just another reason to come to the course. I don't think ever in the history of man has there been a market similar to this. And I'm not just talking about real estate, I'm talking global economics. Now you're doing programs all over the country, right? Yes. And what is, what's your web address so that so that these folks can write that down if they want to if they go to the web your web address will they be able to see where your next programs are? They will. There's a lot of information there, and and we stage the home page with just a few simple buttons, and they can read those buttons, and it'll direct them to the right portal. Okay. And what's that web address? www.nfsti.com. It's it is incredible how many people are using the internet uh, and social media as a resource. They absolutely are. And Google ranks things on relevance. And their, con their job is to constantly be uh, trying to figure out what makes something relevant. And with blogs, what they discovered was these were real people in their communities blogging about what they know, what they're experts on. And Google, they're smart guys. They know how to differentiate between the, the not so good stuff, the, the junk, and the spam and then the real deal. So they're filtering through those. Do you recommend in the program that agents take advantage of some of that social media? It's priceless and it's zero cost out of pocket. Just in the last couple of years I stumbled upon it and it was thanks to a couple of really great friends and mentors that guided me in that direction and because of it I've met hundreds of people. Would you agree uh Regarding the social, uh, regarding your blog and your social networks, mm -hmm. uh, if agents are going to be writing articles, they should write articles that are actually meaningful, relevant. You said, and um, a benefit to the consumer, as opposed to trying to write a sales pitch to get people to call them. Absolutely, thank you for hitting on that. I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, people, people aren't sold anything. Okay, they really aren't. People make decisions on their own. You can't force a sale upon somebody. But if you have good quality relevant information and they see that, they're going to call you. And I would recommend stay away from just posting your listings on Active Rain. I see those a lot. It's dry. It's boring. It's just like the MLS. We don't need another MLS. Here we are, spring of 2009. Mm -hmm. And um, an agent's thinking about getting in. I know I've asked you this question. I'm going to ask you again. Agent's thinking about getting in and committing to the REO business. Still time to get in? It's still time to get in. Yeah. Still a need for some quality agents out there? Absolutely. Always need for quality agents. Thank yeah. you so much for, for being Thanks, here. Tracy. I really enjoyed having you. And uh, all the best with your program here. And I know that you're knocking them dead all over the country. So thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. We hope to just keep providing quality information. And anytime I can come back and speak with you, I'd love to. I'd love to have you. All thanks right. so much. Thanks Thank for you. tuning in, folks. Thanks to Dan Waterman once again for a great interview, and thanks once again to our sponsor, WakeUpYourIncome.com, where you can go for streaming deals on cellular phones, direct TV, and dish network. Also, a business opportunity available. We'll see you for the next show, folks. Thanks for tuning in.